More than 80% of the Earth's oceans are unexplored, unmapped, and unobserved. However, what little we have explored has led to some strange discoveries, including countless bizarre creatures that look like they were created by Salvador Dali himself. Think we're exaggerating? Kick off your shoes, slide into a wetsuit, and get ready to meet 10 such strange yet fascinating creatures. Number 1. Titan Triggerfish Ever seen a fish with a human-like mouth? Meet the Titan Triggerfish, a species of triggerfish found in lagoons and at reefs across the Indo-Pacific. One of the largest of its species, the Titan Triggerfish grows up to 2.5 feet. It has a highly compressed, oval-shaped body, a large head, human-like lips, and a small but strong-jawed mouth with teeth that are made for crushing shells. The Titan Triggerfish feeds on coral, tube worms, crustaceans, mollusks, and sea urchins. Wary of divers, they can be especially aggressive during the reproduction season and can even attack or chase away divers who get too close to their nest. Eating the flesh of this fish can cause food poisoning. Number 2. Flatfish The flatfish is exactly what its name sounds like. Their thin, diamond, or oval-shaped bodies lie flat on the sea floor. This bizarre fish has both of its eyes on the same side of its head. These protruding eyes can move independently. Found in oceans throughout the world, the flatfish has excellent camouflaging abilities. Their unique pigment makes them light on their belly and dark on their back. They can also mimic the various colors of the ocean floor. When threatened or stalking prey, the fish expands and retracts its pigment-containing cells to quickly change color. They can swiftly bury themselves in the sand and use their eyes to keep watch without being seen. That's also how they ambush predators. Number 3. Devil Scorpion Fish The Devil Scorpion Fish, also known as the False Stonefish, looks more like a part of a reef than an actual fish. Found at the depths of around 230 feet in the Indian and Pacific Ocean, this bottom-dwelling, ray-finned fish has a broad head, humped back, tapering body, and a wide mouth. Its unique color combination of mottled gray and white with reddish-brown blotches keeps it well camouflaged among corals and stones. A row of venomous spines runs down its back, and since the devil scorpion fish blends so well with reefs, divers and snorkelers can get stung if they accidentally touch or step on them. Upon being stung, the primary symptom is severe pain that can last for up to 12 hours if left untreated. Number 4. Wolffish I think it's fair to say that the wolffish has a face that only a mother can love. Native to the frigid waters of the Pacific and the North Atlantic Oceans, the wolffish produces a natural antifreeze that keeps their blood moving smoothly even in the near-freezing water. The largest species of wolffish can grow up to 6 feet 7 inches long, but the defining physical characteristic of this fish is its strong, powerful jaw with canine-like teeth that stick out of its mouth. Despite their intimidating appearance, the wolffish are known to be curious and even friendly to divers. Sometimes, they even cuddle with them. Number 5. Nautilus The Nautilus, a type of mollusk and distant cousin to octopi, squids, and cuttlefish, has long fascinated artists and scientists for its incredible beauty and swimming abilities. The soft-bodied Nautilus is protected by a hard external shell and the shell itself has many compartments or closed interior chambers. The animal lives inside the largest chamber of the shell, while the other chambers act like a submarine's ballast tank. Thanks to the unique design of the shell, the Nautilus can create a jet propulsion that helps it thrust backward and make turns. That's the secret behind its amazing swimming capabilities. Fossil records show that the Nautilus has existed for around 500 million years. For comparison, T-Rex walked the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, some 68 million years ago. Number 6. Ribbon Eel Because of its long, thin body and high dorsal fins, the ribbon eel looks a lot like the mythical Chinese dragon, but it is actually a species of moray eel. Found in lagoons and reefs across the Indo-Pacific Ocean, ribbon eels are often seen sticking their heads and anterior bodies out of crevices in the sand and rubble. Ribbon eels undergo a massive transformation over their lifetime. As Protandrus hermaphrodites, they begin life as males and become females as they mature. They also change color during these phases of transition. 
A juvenile ribbon eel sports a bright yellow dorsal fin that runs the entire length of its dark black body. As it matures, the black body turns bright electric blue. Then the male ribbon eel grows and turns yellow as it enters its female stage. Number 7. Jawfish The jawfish is a family of fish that includes around 80 different species, and they are native to the warmer parts of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. Often seen sticking their heads and upper bodies out of their burrows, the yellow-headed jawfish looks like they are dancing. The jawfishes are mouth brooders, and it's the father that takes the responsibility of looking after the eggs. After fertilizing the eggs, the male collects them in his mouth and protects them until the eggs hatch. Number 8. Feather Stars Feather stars are 200 million year old creatures that look like they could have come out of the pages of a Dr. Seuss book. These marine invertebrates have feather-like arms that radiate from the central body. Deemed as living fossils, feather stars have an incredible diversity that find its roots deep down in the Earth's geological past. From the equator to the poles, feather stars inhabit a broad geographical range, and they are found in both shallow waters and in the depths of the ocean. Some species of feather stars can grow up to 150 arms, and if one of those gets severed, they can regenerate it. Limb regeneration capabilities may have helped these creatures survive so long. Number 9. Penis Fish Eurekus unisinctus, also known as the Chinese penis fish, is a species of marine spoonworm. Found in East Asia, this anatomically suggestive sea worm grows up to 10 to 30 centimeters long and is a yellowish-brown color. In Korea, the penis fish is eaten raw with salt and gochujang or sesame oil. And in Chinese cuisine, they're stir-fried with vegetables or dried and powdered. Number 10. White Margin Stargazer You wouldn't want to mess with the White Margin Stargazer. Their double-grooved poison spines can seriously injure divers, and they also have electric organs that can discharge up to 50 volts. As ambush predators, the White Margin Stargazer has excellent camouflaging capabilities. They can bury themselves in the sand and deliver both electric shocks and venom. Yikes! Imagine stepping on them. No wonder they're called the mother-in-law fish. That's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're working hard to bring you the best video content. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.